Daytona Beach, Daytona, back on the road. It's going to be a busy week leading up to the 400 Saturday night. Chip Ganassi dropped a shoe the other day, closed down a team. Left Dario Franchitti on the sideline. 70 people out of work, including John Fernandez. He used to run Dodge, and he was running Ganassi's operation. Now he's sidelined too. If Chip Ganassi, as savvy a businessman as he is, he won the, day, the Indy 500 this year. Scott Dixon, if he's having to shut down teams, what's next? That's what we'll find out here this week at Daytona. A lot of guys on the hot seat. Lynn and Eddie Wood, they didn't make the race at Loudon last weekend with Marcus Ambrose, so they took Bill Elliott testing this week. They got to get their program in gear. The Petties need sponsorship. A lot of guys are sweating things out. I think Joe Gibbs and J.D. Gibbs are going to announce something this week. Rick Hendrick says he's going to announce who's going to be driving the five car. Looks like it might be Mark Martin. I can't believe Mark Martin, who wanted to retire four years ago, is going to come out of semi-retirement, running a part-time schedule for DEI, and run the full tour next year in the five car, replacing Casey Mears. But that's the way it's looking. Tony Stewart may be ready to announce UPS and Ryan Newman on his new team, the Gene Haas, Joe Custer operation he's supposedly taking over. He toyed around with a five car last weekend, but I think he was just blowing some smoke. Gibbs, are they ready to bring Joey Logano up to the big leagues? Why not? They've got Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch, two championship contenders right now. They can afford a diversity program. If they can't get Juan Pablo Montoya. And if Ganassi doesn't watch it, he's going to be in trouble with, with the rest of his operation, too. Can't believe Ganassi had to shut an operation down because he couldn't find sponsorship. This is a big player in the game. Big player. But like Fernandez says, if you're not one of the big three in NASCAR right now, that's Rick Hendrick, Jack Roush, and Joe Gibbs. You're picking up crumbs off the floor. Even if you're Roger Penske, who managed to win last weekend at Loudoun with Kurt Busch, but only because of rain. They were beaten the entire afternoon until Pat Trison made the right call. Could be a long, hot summer for some of these stock car teams. Daytona. Mike Mullen for the Winston-Salem Journal. Journalnow.com.